Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. And it does not matter what sport you're betting on. So as we enter the fourth week of the NFL season, we have a COVID-19 problem as the Tennessee Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers have been postponed. But the rest of the games are still scheduled to be played. So we're going to take a look at some of the matchups. But before we do, please join, become a member, the VIP club. And you'll have all these great tools, as you see here, to help you make your picks. So let's scroll down here and take a look at some of the matchups for this weekend. And there was the Steelers and the Titans, which will not be played. And here we go. We got the Arizona Cardinals and the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers look to get back to 500 as they host the Cardinals. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup from last year, the Panthers won by a wide 38 to 20 margin, but this game is quite a bit different with Cam Newton not any longer the Panthers quarterback and Christian McCaffrey out. You see the odds here. The Panthers are the underdogs. The odds here are 2.47 Carolina, 1.55 for Arizona. Right now, Arizona has average stats and Carolina is dead up. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the trend here. Look at this, Arizona. Jumping up to plus 30, and Carolina down here near the bottom of the league at plus 5, so a huge difference there. The over under for this game is 52.5, so if you're considering the over and under, if you take a look at the totals predictor, you can see that the Cardinals are playing in games trending under the line, the Panthers playing in games trending over the line, so since they're on opposite sides of the line, I generally tend to avoid the over under in those scenarios. If you look at the odds, take a look here at the uh, line, see if there's any kind of movement in the line. You see here that the line opened here at, right here, you can see that the money line was here at 1.51, and you can see currently it is at 1.549, so very little movement in the line in this one. So overall, what, what do I think about the matchup as far as who will win the game? I really do think that the Cardinals will win this one, even though they're on the road. They're definitely the better team. I think they will win this one and win it rather comfortably. Scrolling down through here to the next matchup that we want to take a look at. As you see, it's a full slate of games with the exception, as I said, of Tennessee and Pittsburgh. How about the Indianapolis Colts here and the Chicago Bears? The Bears are off to a 3-0 start after Nick Foles came off the bench to lead in the comeback victory. You notice both teams are burning hot at the moment. The Colts have the edge here as far as the odds go. Even that 2-1 and one in playing on the road, the odds are in their favor at 1.72 to 2.130. If you will take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see the Bears are up to plus 23. And the Colts, they were down to 1, but you see after their win, they're up to plus 11. So they are on the rise. The over-under for this game is 43.5. If you're considering betting on the over-under, let's see how the teams are faring in that category. You see the Colts barely over the line in their matchups, and you see the Bears under the line. So I would probably avoid the over and under in this matchup right here. Look at the head-to-head. -head. Well, you see they have played not in a regular season game since 2016. Preseason game last year really doesn't play into your betting scheme for this one. Let's take a look at the line here. Has there been any kind of big movement in the line? Uh, let's see what we got here. Right here, if you took a look at the money line and the spread and the totals. But if you want to take a look at the line reversals, let's take a look here. So we're going to go to our game. And we got the Colts and the Bears here. And let's take a look at what we got. So you see it opened at 1.69. And you can see the current line is at where? It's like it's currently down here at 1.719. So it has moved somewhat. It's not a huge movement, but it has moved somewhat. You look at this during the uh, last couple of days. It, there was a, quite a bit of a movement up and down. But now it's pretty much stabilized down here. Not too far from the opening line. So what do I think about this one? I really think that the Colts will have enough to give the Bears their first loss of the season. 
Scroll down through here and take a look at another matchup. We got the Minnesota Vikings and the Houston Texans. This is probably the most surprising matchup in terms of what the teams have done so far this year. Both teams were off to a poor 0-3 start, leading to their dead status for both, as you see. Houston at home is the favorite at 1.45 odd to 2.78 odd, with an over-under of 54.5. The power ranking indicator shows, not surprisingly, that both teams are dropped quite a bit from just like a week ago. Houston just at plus 6, and Minnesota down at the bottom of the league at 0. And some reason that game just disappeared. Excuse me. Let me scroll back down to it. And there we go. Okay. If you look at any head-to-head -head matchups, being that they're out of uh, the conferences, they have not played in the last four years. So we don't really take that into consideration. Well, if you're considering the over and under, let's take a look at the totals predictor. You will see that Minnesota is playing in games trending a bit under the line. Not much, but a little bit under. The Texans are playing in games trending over the line. So once again, this is a game that I would not consider betting the over or under in. So, so far, we haven't had much in terms of that in any of the matchups that we are seeing. Let's take a look at the line reversals again for this game. And this, we will scroll up to get the proper matchup. And you can see all the games are listed here. It's a very easy tool to use once you get the hang of it. <clears throat> Let's have to find our game. which is not easy to see. Oh, there it is. Okay, Houston and Minnesota. If you look at the line here, it opened at minus, or excuse me, at 1.51. And you can see with a little bit of movement back and forth, and now it is moving just slightly to 1.45. So really not much of a change there. So wouldn't be any alarming reason to switch what you want to do as far as your betting goes. I really think that this will be a relatively high-scoring game, probably actually very entertaining for two teams that are 0-3, but I look for the Texans to pull it out late in the game by a narrow margin. Saints and the Lions, I'm not going to take a look at that one, but that could be a good matchup. Chargers and Buccaneers. Seattle off to a great start at Miami. The next game I really want to look at is down here further on the list, as, excuse me, as we have to scroll all the way down. This is one that I want to look at, New England and Kansas City. The Patriots bring a 2-1 and one record into Kansas City to take on the undefeated Chiefs. You can see the Chiefs are burning hot at the moment compared to average down for New England. And the Chiefs have a decided advantage as far as the odds go, 1.31 to 3.460. And the over-under is 52.5. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see the Chiefs are at plus 31, not a surprise. New England, a little bit of a surprise that they are rated this high, but you notice, so to take a look here, this was plus 30, but this was as of September the 20th, so we don't have any new information about New England. I would be surprised if they are this high currently. If you look at the head to head matchup. You see last year, the Chiefs were victorious by a touchdown over New England, 23-16. to Take a look at the total's predictor. New England playing in games trending under the line. And so is Kansas City. So surprisingly, this game will probably be an under, even though Kansas City is a very high potent offense. Let's take a look at the line reversals again, see if there has been much movement. And here's New England and Kansas City. You can see, very interestingly enough, it was at 1.31 to start, and that stayed steady for a while. And then, it, then there was a pretty big change there for a while. But now it's come back up, and currently it's pretty much exactly where it started from the beginning. So what do I think as far as the game goes? I think it'll be a similar outcome as last year, with the Chiefs winning the game. Uh, probably close to the same margin, but a little bit of a higher scoring game, but still under the line. So we've got one more matchup we want to take a look at. It's the Atlanta Falcons and the Green Bay Packers. The Packers are off to a great start at 3-0, and they are burning hot. You can see that they have a large advantage in the odds at 1.31 to 3.46, and the over-under is a very high 57.5. 
the Falcons, nothing has gone right for them this year so far, starting off 0-3. And, and then you can see that they are averaged down at the moment. Head-to-head, -head, the two teams have not met since December of 2018. On the power ranking indicator, you can see another large difference here. Packers at plus 26, Falcons at plus 13. Over and under, you might be surprised, but we're actually probably going to go with the over on this one. Take a look at this. Falcons trending in games well over the line. The Packers trending in games just barely under the line. I think this is going to be a very high scoring game. I am going to go with the over on this one. As far as what we think the outcome is going to be, well, let's first look at the line reversal, see if there has been any big changes in the line. And we had the Packers here in the Falcons. And what I'm seeing here is really nothing. <laughs> 1.31 opening, currently also at 1.31. You can see there was a change there just, uh, what, a couple days ago, but it is back up to where it started from at 1.31. So no big surprise there to make you want to change your, your bet. So what I'm thinking is that the Packers probably will pretty easily win this game. It'll be a high scoring game. It should be very entertaining but the Packers will prevail. So there you have it. Those are all the matchups for this week. Enjoy, happy bidding, and hopefully you win big this week and every week. See you next time.